increment and decrement operators in C++. Hello, today we have a crucial topic to explore in the world of C++ programming. We will be, <laughs> we will be diving into the world of increment and decrement operators, two essential tools every C++ developer should have in their arsenal. Let's do a simple introduction to increment and decrement operators. Let's create a comment right here and essentially too long didn't read. In C++, the increment operator, operator and decrement, decrement operator are used to modify the values of a variable. They allow us has been the programmer to increase or decrease a variable's variables value by one. Keep in mind by one in a very concise and simple manner. End of sentence. Trust me when I say this. This is one of the easiest concepts to absorb and use, and you will find yourself using them everywhere. Let's go ahead and start with the increment operator. Increment operator. Could you just simply a double plus sign C++? Is it that why it's called C++? We'll never know. So it's used to increase the value of a variable by one. You can use it for both integers and floating point variables. Once you start creating your own classes, you may overload this and many other operators. So let's go ahead and create a variable called int count and we'll set it equal to the value of, let's say, 5. And all we can do right here is to use the increment uh, operator. We can do it in many ways, but we'll just do this. We'll do int count plus plus and we'll, initialize, we'll set an end of line. We will then do a console output and say value value of count after incrementing incrementing and we'll say c out count and do an end out and we'll build our program let's run so value after count after incrementing is six so what happens here our value when we initialize it is set to five when we do count plus plus, this is what happens. 5 plus 1 equals to 6. That's it. In this example, we have a variable named count, initially set to 5. When we apply the increment operator, the value of count increases increased by 1. Super simple. Just adds 1. Now, let's talk about the decrement operator. I'm sure you know what this is, <laughs> just by the example of the increment operator. And yes, as you might have guessed, it's used to decrease the value, the value of a variable by one. Just as the increment operator, we can use your integers, floats, and later on our own class objects. Let's do count as well. Let's say count minus minus. And we'll do it twice. Count minus minus. C out value of count after two decrements and we'll do c out count and we'll do an end line what do you think the value will be before we even build and run this code so it started off as five it was on five plus one here it should be six minus one back to five and for this it should be five minus one set to four let's see if this works out we'll build we we'll run. There we go. Value after count is six. Value of count after two decrements four. Now be cautious. What we have covered so far is the post increment and post decrement operator, and we know this because the operator, as we see, appears to the right of our variable name. 
if it appears to the left of our variable name, it is count. It is called the pre-increment and pre-decrement operator because the operator is placed before the variable. Let me show you. Let's create a new variable and call it int num. Say it equals three, and we'll do int pre-incremented is equal to plus plus num. Here we're using the pre-increment. See out num and l. See out. Let's do make it more clear. Make our code a little more readable. Num pre-incremented. And we'll do pre-incremented. We'll do end L. Let's go ahead and build our program and run our program. So num is four and pre-increment is also four. Let's do a pre-int pre-decremented decremented is equal to minus minus num. And we'll do C out pre let's do pre decremented decremented and we'll do pre decremented and we'll do an end L. Build our program one last time and we'll run. There we go. So in this example, we have a variable called num set to three. When you use pre-increment, it increases by one. Similarly, pre-decrement decreases it by one. As you can see, these operators update the variable value before, they are, before the value is used in the rest of the expression. In the next video, we'll go over practical uses of the decrement and uh, increment operators. That's all.